Hello everybody, welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date is February 18, 2016, and our discussion today is going to be on surprises. Uh, this is found ten times in ten Bible verses. Now, when I think about surprises, we'll start right there in Genesis 45.3, where Joseph opened up to his brothers who had been the ones that sold him into slavery that hated him. And yet, what ended up happening, we'll go here with the verses. I am Joseph, he said to his brothers. Is my father still alive? But his brothers couldn't say a word. They were so stunned with surprise. Now in Malachi 2.17, you have worked wearied the Lord with your words, wearied him, you ask, in fake surprise. How have you wearied him? By saying that evil is good, that it pleases the Lord, or by saying that God won't punish us. He doesn't care. In Matthew twenty seven fourteen, but Jesus said nothing much to the governor's surprise. And this was just before he was getting ready to go to that, to that cross. In Acts 9, 7, the men with Paul stood speechless with surprise, for they heard the sound of someone's voice, but saw no one. This is when Paul was on the Damascus Road, when Jesus appeared to him. Acts twelve sixteen. meanwhile, Peter continued knocking, when they finally went out and opened the door, they were surprised that there knew no bounds. As mentioned, Joseph surprised his brothers. And this was a great surprise. He was ended up being ruler over the land of Egypt. Saul, Gideon, and Joshua defeated their enemies by doing surprise attacks. Even King David was involved in that. Don't seize don't cause God to be troubled. Evil is bad, not good. It doesn't please the Lord. When Saul was converted on Damascus Road, he and his men heard that voice of Jesus. Jesus appeared to him. So as we go throughout the day, I don't know about you, but I like surprises. But I want the right kind, the ones that are right with God. Have a blessed day.